Hello, I'm Colin from Facebook Campers and I just want to introduce you to our new van, Nullig. Nullig is the Irish word for December, when Nullig actually first hit the road. So the first thing we're going to do is pop the roof. It's just a matter of undoing a couple of straps, pushing the roof up. If the side door is open, it obviously goes up quite a bit easier to let the air in. Next thing we have the 12 volt fridge. That stays running the whole time during your journey. Loads of storage in it, works very efficiently. Beside that we have our storage for all the DAF that you'd need for your trip. Also have a drawer here with all the cutlery. Above that then we have our two ring gas hob and fresh running cold water. That's fed from a 35 litre fresh water tank that's integrated into the units, so it's tucked away nice and neatly. Up here we have our fly screen, which can be closed during those cold evenings, but very nice to open in the mornings to let fresh air through. We also have blackout blinds, they help when the sun is shining. Now we have our rib bed, just a matter of pulling a couple of levers then arranging the cushions into the position that you prefer. The rear of the bed can actually be left at a tilted angle so as you can use it for a day bed. Next thing we're gonna do now is prepare the upstairs bed. So it's just a simple matter of pulling down this panel and if you have the passenger seat rotated makes a very good step to get up into position. The space up there is quite big. Um, someone that's over six foot would sleep very comfortably up there. And you've got a great view as the sun goes down or sun coming up if you're an early riser. In here we have our wardrobe. It has an automatic light and a rail for hanging shirts, any kind of clothing. At the back of the van, we have all our services. Down here we have our vented cabinet for the gas. There's a knockoff valve on that so as you can switch it off while you're traveling. The hose for filling the tank is attached to the van and recoils itself automatically. So no driving away without it. Above the hose, we have the power lead. So, First thing is you connect the power lead into the van itself and then to the stand at your campsite and the reverse of that when you want to disconnect. The last thing you want to do is to be coiling the lead that has power running through it. There is a little clip to the left hand side of the plug which releases it from the van. Very important that you pull that clip down. Now I'm just pushing up the back of the bed. Makes it easy to release the table which is stored in the back of the van. Our table itself clips on to a rail in the kitchen. You can adjust it to whatever position you want, whether you're cooking or whether you're sitting down to dine. Now with all that done, it's time to tidy up. So to rotate the seat, you need to tip it forward, spin it around into the driving position. We usually provide fold up seats with the van and there's plenty of room for those in the back. Next thing we do is take down the roof. Now it's important to have a door open while you do this and make sure that the canvas folds inward. And once you have it all neatly tucked away, you need to tighten the straps to make sure that the actual roof can't reopen. That's it. If you like our video, please check us out on www.facebookcampers.com. Bye for now.